in this session let's learn about profiles you are thinking what is a profile it's simple the profile is used to manage a user when i say manage it is used to set various limits on the database resources just like a privilege gives access to perform a certain task a profile will limit the amount of database resources a user can use okay using these profiles we can set the limits like cpu resources that means how many cpu cycles this user can use disk io how many io reads is allowed connect time in a single stretch how long the user can be connected to the database and next idle time idle time is the time how long the user can stay idle before the oracle database closes the session next concurrent sessions using the same user account how many sessions can he open and then the private sga this is the total amount of private sga space the user is limited to like this we can set the limits on various database resources okay by default every user will have a profile he will have only one profile okay and if we don't assign any profile at the time of creation the default profile assigned is default okay and here is the list of various limits on the database resources which we can set for a user using the profile okay and now let's see how we can create a profile okay create profile profile name and we can mention all the parameters we want here we are saying limit sessions per user to that means he can open only two sessions concurrently idle time 5 that means he can stay only idle for 5 minutes if it crosses that the oracle database will close the session and connect time is 10 minutes that means at a given stretch the user can be logged in for maximum 10 minutes once it reaches 10 minutes the session is closed okay like this you can create a profile with all the limits you want and then assign this profile to the users you need okay apart from the limits we have studied we can also configure the password related parameters using the profile okay the various password related parameters we can configure are password lifetime password grace time password reuse time password reuse max fail login attempts password lock time password verify function obviously password lifetime means how often you need to change your password here we said 180 that means every 180 days the user needs to change his password so here we said password grace time is 7 that means after 180 days a maximum of 7 days is given for the user before he changes the password okay password reuse time that means the user cannot reuse a password for a given number of days if we say unlimited that means he can never reuse the same password next one password reuse max this specifies the number of password changes that are required before the current password can be reused okay fail login attempts this specifies the number of fail login attempts before the account is logged if we say 10 once the user enters wrong password 10 times the account will be logged next one password lock time it specifies the number of days the account will be logged after the specified number of fail login attempts okay that means here we said 10 once the user enters wrong password 10 times the account will be logged for one day and again he can try to log into the account okay and then the final one is password verify function where you can use a function to set the properties of a password like if you want to make sure the password is at least 8 characters it is different from the username 
and it is different from the database name and it is a string with at least one alphabetic character and one numeric character and it is different from the previous password by at least three letters like this if you want to configure various rules for the password you can use this oracle built-in function verify function 11g if you want to create your own function you can also do that okay like this uh, profile is used to set limits on the database resources and set limits on the passwords okay in the next session let's go to the demo and check it out okay